In this week's edition of the Business Review, local distribution firm Derrimon Trading spends big on reformulation with hopes of getting more of its juices into schools. TVJ's Andrew Lady reports. A new day dawning in the drinks and beverages industry and Derrimon Trading moving swiftly to stay ahead of the pack. That is reducing the sugar content in its products to remain competitive on the market. Chief Financial Officer Ian Kelly admitted that Derrimon wasted no time after hearing the mandate. The fact is, is that the ministry is very specific as to what can be sold in different markets especially schools, hospitals, etc. And we are, we are ensuring that we as a company are very equipped, are equipped with the product that will allow us to be in those markets and in all those markets very quickly. The reformulation didn't come cheap, but Mr. Kelly says that's an investment the company hopes to benefit from in the long term. So any capital investment is something that is here for the long haul. And we feel that you know it, it is a step in, is a step in the right direction, and as a result that the huge capital outlay as a result of um, reformulation, flavors, um, changing, speak, working with the different flavor and houses to get to this, this is a use, use investment. But because it is, we are here for the long haul, the, the, this amount will be recovered over. A period of time. Mr. Kelly says the feedback has been positive, but even before that, he says the signs were always assuring. Our manufacturers have done many different sampling in different markets to ensure with different different segments of the market to ensure that consumers would have adapt and would have liked what we're we're we're, we're producing we're, we're producing and what we will be distributing. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News.